because zero to zero degrees of another sign makes 30. Then you have one and two degrees of another sign that uh, of from the zero that makes 32. Then it gets out the cusp. The sun die out of the previous sign and fully be born in the next sign. And it's no longer a cusp three degrees of a sign. Right. And that'd be 33 degrees of Jesus dying and ascending into the next sign, which now you can understand the starting point and the correspondence of the sun going into Capricorn. Zero degrees winter time. But them saying the sun die, but it being reborn again or Jesus being born again three days later, a.k.a. once we get into three degrees Capricorn. Understand the correspondence of astrology, astronomy, religion and spirituality. Now you understand the birthing of everything. You see what I'm saying? And now you know how to blend everything together with a true synchronism, synchronicity, blending musical, mental energy. You got to make your mind music. So it's not necessarily music. It's how you synchronize all intellectual properties. And that's how you make mind music, angel music. So if you decide to actually make music, you could be talking about something in the spiritual world. And it sounds like something we all going through in the physical world. So that one song or them lyrics, you got six different allegories to it. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. For an example, y'all can use me as an example, right? Um, yeah, my uh my psalms leave her wet. I'll be sure I see it. Now, my psalms is my spiritual teaching, but psalms are songs, as above, so below. So an angel makes songs too, which leave her wet, right? I'll be sure I see it. I'll L, an individual, I'm going to be sure I see that she wet. You know what I'm saying? But a sure is a C, and a C is how we see from the spiritual, which is consciousness. You're fluid. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, my Psalms make her wet. I'll be sure I see it. It's got like three different three different meanings to it. I'm talking about my songs make her wet, her pussy wet. I mean, her, her vagina wet. I'm talking about my teachings and stuff like that. Um, um, create shores and stuff that you can see where I'm coming from consciously. You know what I'm saying? Kind of that's, you know what I'm saying? You don't know where, where angle on my bars at. Best rapper alive. And I'm going over the next. And, 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 and guess who a R&B singer? Who sing? I'll be sure. Oh, see, like, look, look. You want to add another? You want to add another one? Al. Al is Hebrew for L, individual. I'm going to be that individual to make sure I see her. Be able, oh, five, four, five. How many more meanings you want to pull out? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like the spiritual, physical don't matter. Oh, Rams are real. Best rapper alive. Lil Wayne can't do that. Jay-Z Nas can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You, they only tell you how to look out the window outside of Marcy Projects and go sell some drugs. I'm going to run Shout out them brothers. I said, let the Lord be with them. Bless they soul. Now, look, check this out, right? We also got Moon and Conjunct Chiron and Aries, right? There's going to be unsure what to do while not making a mistake. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times you might prevent yourself from going through experiences that you actually need to do and stuff like that. So you might be unsure what to do while not making mistakes. And you being more worried about making a mistake going to lead you into a situation of not doing anything at all. So this is extreme procrastination energy, but knowing that you need to necessarily do something. So don't get too lost and wet into this energy because you're going to play out being washed up under the current with Moon and conjuncting uh, um, Aries, Chiron and Aries. Um, moon and conjunct Mercury and Aries, like I was just breaking down. 